What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the trucking journey. I'm Trucker Jim, and we are getting ready to start another week out on the road doing the Texas run. I just finished watching the beginning of season two of The Mandalorian. Now, I know some of you have TVs in your truck. Uh, this truck came with a mount, so I didn't have to install a mount. I just had to screw in four screws in the back plate. Easy peasy, right? And there's also an antenna in this truck, so I can pick up TV channels. You know, I've got. I don't find myself watching TV that way. What I do instead, use my old iPad that I've had for the last, heck, probably four years. But what's new is this it's a HDMI to lightning connector. So it will plug into an iPhone, an iPad, anything like that. And on the other end, there's a power cord that's, you know, like an iPhone power cord. It's lightning that plugs in, but that's going into the wall. And then the HDMI, which goes to the back of the TV. So anything that's on the iPad is on the TV. Boom. So any kind of app, like what I was watching before was Disney Plus. So if I want to watch Disney Plus, little baby Yoda. Get it, baby Yoda. I'm told that you can lead me to others of my kind. If you're a Star Wars fan, you've already probably watched The Mandalorian, right? If you haven't, though, it's really good. It's like westerns in space. But The Mandalorian is a show that Baby Yoda comes from. But technically, they don't call him Baby Yoda. He's just a child. A green child with big ears and big eyes. But is it just me or does him and Boone kind of favor? Don't he look like Boone? Big old. But I have gained a little weight from my last couple of weeks trucking. And it's no wonder because I've, I've eaten like crap. What a burger. They are so good. And then crackling and booting and tacos. But this week I'm setting the goal to buy no food because I've already bought it. Now there's stuff in there one thing i really don't like about you know keeping food there it's really hard to see because it's you know it's, it's back there and then there's some under there too but what i have easy access to baby is this refrigerator and we are in here we've got some of that hydroponic lettuce some blueberries there's avocados a few different types of cheese i got some taco meat from home some eggs some bacon some of this chicken salad, cranberry chicken, cranberry chicken salad from Earth Food is great. Some hard boiled eggs. And what's awesome about this setup with this huge fridge made by Frigidaire, I got it for a couple hundred bucks, I think, at Lowe's. But there is a full size freezer in this, guys. We got some broccoli, some chicken, burritos. We could have ice cream in there. It works really good. Saying this is a tight fit is a bit of an under statement this is part of my coffee setup here it's what i heat my water up in and i got a little neutral bullet to blend in the butter got a few more cooking supplies and bowls and utensils and things up top above it we got some plates and bowls and the lunchbox cooker i hadn't used a lunchbox cooker in a while when i was making jambalaya that drop and hook jambalaya i don't know if you guys saw any of those videos got a frying pan under here and that, guys, I don't know if that's showing up. It's kind of dark up here. That is a cooking eye. What do you call that? Cooking eye, hot plate. I wanted like a, a flat top one, and I, I tried it a couple of times, but for some reason, it wouldn't work. I haven't tried that one yet, but before we start cracking eggs and cooking bacon, we'll, we'll make sure it heats up. But yeah, this week is gonna be uh is gonna be eating in the truck. Or maybe I'll get out and eat at rest stops. But this week my plan is to park in rest stops more than I have been lately. I've really just been parking at you. Well, I park at all kind of places really. I have no idea where I'm gonna park today. I'm uh, waiting. <laughs> I've done a couple of videos from this place cause I always have time. But there goes one, so maybe I can go back there and get on. I already know what I'm going to be taking to Texas, and I'm taking it all the way through to Laredo. 
So tomorrow will be nothing but a drive day. Well, I say nothing but a drive day, but we're going to stop at an epic spot, and uh, I'm going to show it to you guys. The weather is perfect. It feels amazing out here. It's probably somewhere in the vicinity of 60 degrees. The sun's down. Moon and the stars will be out soon. And hopefully, my light will turn green and I can get the hell out of here and go pick up my load. That load wasn't, well, the work order says it's ready at 1800, which is a few minutes from now. I bet it was probably ready at 4, though. But I hear them bumping around in there, so it shouldn't be long. <laughs> And we are rolling. It's almost midnight on a Monday. I am south of Atlanta on 85. And I got my old friend, Ram McNally, back on board. Glad to have you in the truck, Ram McNally. I am a big fan of the Trucker GPS. But in the next, I don't know, 10 or so videos, some things you guys can look forward to. We're going to take a closer look at the Ram McNally over here in a Trucker GPS some of the tools that are included in that. If you've got a few favorite ways you use your trucker GPS, let me know in the comments. That'll help an upcoming video be a better one. But also, we're going to touch on Trucker Path, uh, which I use Trucker Path on a daily basis. Always have, ever since I've been a driver. But there's a premium version. I'm going to have a link in this video so those of you that don't have a GPS, instead of just having to use a regular old Google Maps and Apple Maps or whatever, and they'll have you cutting across Atlanta and you can get a ticket for it. Nah, you want to use a trucker GPS, and well, Trucker Path has one of those. But we're going to talk about that in a future video. Also, fitness and health, as far as eating healthy, preparing meals in the truck, that's always been popular here on the Truck and Journey. It's been one of my favorite parts to make as well and to share with people. So there's going to be more of that. I got a fridge that's full of food right now. Making the commitment that I'm not going to eat out by any food in a truck stop or a restaurant all week long. And, and it's not like I'm going to go on a hunger strike or anything. I'm going to eat something and it's already in the truck. So that should be fun. But also, I have not worked out at all since I, I went and worked out at nine round when I rolled out for my first day down to Texas. And well, I haven't been in there since. So we've got to find some creative ways to get some exercise, work up a sweat, get the heart rate up out here on the road. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode. I've got about two hours more of driving. I'm gonna shut down at the Alabama State Line rest stop. So that's where I'll wake up in the morning. And I'm thinking, we'll start the day with some epic drone footage. How's that sound, guys? Well, you'll have to tune in to see. If you're not subscribed yet, please do. Everybody check notifications. Make sure you're having them up. Because I've, I've uploaded uh, quite a few videos over the last week or so. And, well, they're not getting a lot of views. So that just leads me to know everybody's not getting notifications. Otherwise, you'd watch it, right? Hey, and somebody leave me a comment tell me how cool my little blue glow and light around my TV looks. Ha! Hey, but I'll see you all in the next video. But until then, be safe out there and keep on 